What's going on everybody? I am back with another prize picks NBA player props video. This one gonna be breaking it down, giving you guys three picks to get you win some money over here on prize picks in the NBA tonight. As always, if you haven't checked out prize picks, would highly recommend you check them out. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players' points, rebounds, points, rebounds, assists, assists, fantasy score, three pointers made, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. Again, that is code KJKDFS. Go ahead and lock that in. Get that free money offer and start winning some money over on prize picks with these picks today, guys. And if you are going to be very serious, I do offer premium content packages. That is linked below in the description. It is patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. I do offer lower tier packages if you want to get access to all of my core plays. Once all my research is done, I will release, uh, release a full list of every single one of the plays that I have on the day. At the line that I got it at, bumps do occur though, so just a fair warning, if you do get one of these lower tier packages, you might be getting those plays after some bumps do happen. I cannot control that, but if you're looking to really stoke up your game, beat those bumps, get a bunch of value. Check out the KJK DFS VIP member package. I'm adding a bunch of different features over there now. I now have a uh, push alerts channel in the Discord for when I detect value, so you are notified right away. I'm also adding a tiers feature where I'm going to have three tiers um, so that people that are looking to maybe run two mans, three mans, etc., maybe not as high on like the five, six mans. I do teach how if you can run five, six mans and have the highest ROI long term. But I've gotten a lot of feedback that people wanting to build their bankroll do want to run some two mans, some three mans, etc. So I do have tiers now. Uh, so those people looking to run two mans can only play those guys in that tier number one. I uh, know that those are my best plays and lock those in. So I keep adding more and more value over there in the VIP. If you are interested in joining, we'd love to have you join. And if you enjoy this content, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Trying to get all of these videos up to 500 likes. It is free. It takes two seconds to do and it does greatly help me out. In return, I will be providing these videos for free all NBA season long, helping you guys out. So uh, let's talk about it. We'll go game by game as we always do. And the first game I'd like to discuss is going to be the New Orleans Pelicans taking on the Detroit Pistons. This game comes in with a big 234 over under six point spread in favor of the New Orleans Pelicans. And I want to discuss a guy that's been covering his PRA prop pretty consistently. And I do expect him to do so again tonight in Najee Marshall. The New Orleans Pelicans continue to be without Zion Williamson. They continue to be without Brandon Ingram. That has forced Najee Marshall to step into a much bigger role. You look at his game logs, playing massive minutes. He's played 33, 38, 34, 37 minutes the last three games, respectively. And he is getting the job done in all categories. You can see last time out, seven rebounds, three assists, 18 points in time prior, 18 points, four assists, three rebounds. The time before, 24 points, four assists, two rebounds. And Prize Picks does have his PRA prop over here set at 25 and a half. He has cleared this in four of the last five, and I do expect him to clear it again tonight. Take on a Detroit Pistons squad that is one of the worst teams defensively in the entire league. If you've been watching my content throughout the year, you already know this, but uh, we will go ahead and pull up the worst defensive rating players in the entire NBA here. You can see that the Detroit Pistons starting lineup is full of a bunch of them. Yo uh, Bojan Bogdanovic is the worst defender in the entire league. You can see he starts for the Detroit Pistons. They also have Jaden Ivey here. That's a bottom one, two, three, four defender and Sadiq Bey. That's a bottom five defender. Sadiq Bey has been forced into the starting lineup now uh, with Jalen Duran dealing with an injury. So uh, that is Boyan Bogdanovich, Sadiq Bey, Jaden Ivey on the wing for this Detroit Pistons squad. Once again, this is the worst defensive players in the entire NBA. This is not just a singles position. This is the entire NBA. So we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, um, three bottom five defenders in the entire NBA starting for this Detroit Pistons squad trying to guard the likes of Najee Marshall on the wing. I do think he's going to be having plenty of success in this one, as he has a lot lately. As you can see by the last five with this PRI, he has been averaging 28.6. They've got his line 20, set at 25.5. And, and then lastly, the uh, sports books do love this line as well. Looking at the latest odds over here on Pinnacle for Mr. Najee Marshall. Uh, just check this in. It was at 150. I'm sure it's still there, but I just want to give you guys the latest odds. Correct. It is minus 150 on the over 25.5. Uh, points, rebounds, and assists here for Najee Marshall. So we're getting some great value on this prop for pick number one. Going with the over 25.5 points, rebounds, and assists here for Najee Marshall. That will be pick number one. 
Uh, pick number two, we're going to talk about another very bad defense in the San Antonio Spurs. They have to try to guard uh, Mr. Stephen Curry tonight and the rest of the Golden State Warriors. This game has a 243.5 over under 8.5 points spread in favor of the Golden State Warriors. So it is expected to stay decently close, you know, for it being such a high total um, as far as a 126 implied team total for the Golden State Warriors. And uh, once again, a team that I do want to be targeting, and I want to be talking about Mr. Stephen Curry. Now, I was on his PRA earlier in the day. I was able to get some really good value as well as my VIP members. I sent that in right away when his line was set at 37.5 PRA. That is now bumped all the way up to 39.5, so I will not be talking about that. However, um, releasing this video later in the day, I do think there's a prop that you guys can take advantage of that I can still promote here, and it is going to be his points prop. It is set at 27.5 over here on Price Picks. Getting some really good value at this line. Would not be surprised in the least to see this get bumped. Stephen Curry, one of the best shooters of all time. No surprise if you are someone of an NBA fan. I'm sure you know who Stephen Curry is. If you look at the usage on the season, he's averaging 20.2 shots per game. He shoots 49% from the field. He takes 11.7 three-pointers per game, where he shoots 42.9% from behind the arc. He also gets the free throw line 5.1 times per game, where he shoots 91.4% from the line. I talked about how bad the San Antonio Spurs team has been defensively. Um, looking at my KJK DFS VIP tools over here, as far as the, my defensive shooting accuracy sheet, you can see that the San Antonio Spurs, man, are dead last, 30th in effective field goal rank in the entire league. They're 30th in all threes given up, allowing opponents to shoot 40% from behind the arc. They're 30th in non-corner threes, allowing opponents to shoot 39.8% from the non-corner. They're also 24th in corner three ranks, 30th in long mid-range, 26th in all mid-range. So um, the Spurs defense has been dreadful all season long, and now I have to try to guard Stephen Curry. So good luck tonight. I think Stephen Curry is going to have his way with his team. He did just return from an injury. Uh, he was somewhat limited in that first game that he was back, but he's expected to be a full goal in this one, looking at the latest reports for Mr. Stephen Curry. I'll just pull that up to show you guys real quick. Uh, Curry shoulder total 24 points, three assists, one rebound, one steal, 31 minutes, and in return from an 11 game absence, he wasn't that sharp early going. Caught fire down the stretch with 14, uh, 16 fourth quarter points. Um, results weren't disappointing. Curry back healthy and having to finish the night high note, encouraging sign. He was on a light minute restriction Tuesday, but he shouldn't have any limitations when the Warriors return to action Friday at San Antonio after a pair of off days. So that's the latest update. Expect him to play in the mid to upper 30s here uh, today. Should be good. And then lastly, uh, this 27.5 point prop, like I said, I had the PRA at 37.5, so I'm going to promote the points to you guys because if you can get this in at this 27.5 line, there still is some great value on this points line uh, where it sits currently. I'm um, looking at the latest odds on Pinnacle for Mr. Stephen Curry and this points prop line. 27.5, there is minus 150 juice on the over 27.5 points here. So I got to love this play for pick number two. We're going with the over 27.5 points here for Stephen Curry. And pick number three, we just talked about how dreadful the San Antonio Spurs team has been in all categories, specifically at defending the three-point arc. Uh, the Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson combination, the Splash Brothers, I think they're going to be making a lot of buckets tonight. And Klay Thompson, specifically from behind the three-point arc, just talked about it. This San Antonio team has been terrible at defending the three ball. You look at the top three-pointers attempted per game as far as in the entire league. Clay Thompson comes in at number four with 10.5 three-pointer shot per game. He's shooting 38.5% from behind the arc. And uh, once again, the San Antonio Spurs rank dead last in all three rank. They are allowing opponents to shoot 40% from behind the arc. They are allowing the non-corner 30th in the league once again. And the corner rank, they're 24th in the league. Um, so they're bottom five, bottom six in every single category. They are the worst team at defending the three-point arc. And I think there is some great value in Mr. Clay Thompson's three-point made prop over here on prize picks today. He has hit this in four of the last five. He's averaging 6.2 over that stretch. And once again, we're talking about some great value on this prop over here on Pinnacle, looking at the latest odds for Mr. Clay Thompson's three-point prop here. Um, he is currently a minus 152 favorite to hit the over 3.5 three-pointers made tonight. So I love this pick for sure for pick number three. Uh, we're going with the over 3.5 three-pointers made here for Klay Thompson, and that will be my three picks to get you winning some money over here on Price Picks in the NBA tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages, I don't know what you're waiting on. I got a bunch of good value this morning in the VIP before a bunch of bumps occurred. Like I said, we were able to get that Stephen Curry profit at two discount on that PRA. I uh, was also able to get CJ McCollum three pointers made in at the 2.5 line. Prizex made a mistake earlier in the day. He's now sitting at 3.5 over here. Um, 
So we got some really good value on that. That's the kind of stuff that I'm looking to provide over there in the VIP. Uh, so we'd love to have you join over there if you are interested. It's all for me in this one. Wishing you guys all the best of luck on your NBA player props tonight. And we will see you in the next one. Thank you.